Any situation you go through in life can be taken from a negative perspective or a positive perspective. Like for example, if you're driving down the freeway and you hit some flying debris that came off of a car that completely damaged the engine of your vehicle. That happened to me today and I didn't really know how I'd react to something like that because something like that never happens to me until this moment. Sometimes the universe gives you the tools you need to push you in the right direction and I think that's what happened today. You see, because as I was driving on the freeway, I was going to an outlet mall with my friend and we hit a coffee table that flew off of another person's car and it completely wrecked my engine. Um, the person did pull over and so did I and we, he's, they were very nice, they were very nice and they felt really bad for what happened. Uh, I wasn't mad at all about it. I, I know that a lot of people could get mad about something like that, but there's no point in doing that. Obviously, yes, something ha bad happened, but it wasn't something to the point that it would ruin my whole day. And I think that this is a great topic to start off with, is that sometimes your plans do change. My plans definitely changed today, and that's why I'm making this vlog. And sometimes the universe needs to push you in the right direction by doing something like this. You see, because I've been thinking about vlogging for a while again, I wanted to get into it, but I kept putting it off, and I was like, well, you know, there's nothing really interesting happening today, and then something like this happens. Now, we exchanged information. They're both lovely people. What had happened was they went to buy a coffee table and they bought a bunch of other furniture as well. The person who was piling it up on their car did not secure the coffee table down. And apparently they asked them repeatedly, like, is it okay? We're going to be driving on the freeway with this. And the person who secured it down said, y it'll be fine. But we exchanged information. I actually started feeling bad for them because I, I, it wasn't their fault. It wasn't, well, it, it was the person who secured it down's fault because he didn't secure it down. So hopefully they go back and they get a full refund and they get their coffee table. Life's too short to really be upset at people for little things. I go to a Starbucks often to do my work and when I'm there I talk to people and I talk to the employees. And a lot of times they'll tell me stuff like it's because of a miscommunication that they get an order wrong because there's a person ringing them up and maybe they didn't get the order quite right. And the baristas who have to make the drink end up making it wrong. And then the person who orders the drink gets upset at the barista for making it inaccurate, thinking that they're incompetent at their job. But in reality, it's just a $5 cup of coffee. How is that ruining your day? Oh. Well, there's the impact. But ultimately, they were very nice. They paid for the tow truck ride. Uh, we're gonna get in contact with the insurance and all that and sort everything out. Life just happens. And sometimes bad things like this is a blessing in disguise. You know, I, they were cool people. I gave them my business card, so if you guys are watching this video, because I know that um, the lady said that her son watches YouTube, so maybe they'll watch this video when it comes out. But if you're watching this video, um, you guys were absolutely amazing at handling the situation, and you guys are amazing people. Uh, if you want to hang out, that'd be cool too. I, I'm, I'm kind of lonely, I don't really... But that's why I'm doing this vlog, is because I want to get out more and I want to do that. And I think that because I've been putting it off for so long to do it, certain events have forced me to do it. And, and it's also sad because that was my first car. You never forget your first car. It's blue. It's the only blue Toyota Camry on the island. I painted it blue because it was rusting on the hood. It was white before, but now it's blue. And I used to call it the TARDIS because TARDIS is an acronym for it. Turning and reversing done in style. See, it's clever, isn't it? The thing about that car was it, it's been with me since I learned how to drive. It's been in multiple videos. It's my transportation 
in my past vlog, but it has been having problems. It's been, it's a 1993. The car is older than some people who ride in it. But maybe it's time to let go of it. I've always had this little dream to kind of restore that car back to its original state, but maybe that's not what it's meant to be. But I guess what I'm trying to say is that all good things come to an end and we need to embrace change. I've been trying to change my content on YouTube. I've been trying to change my look. I've been trying to change my mindset. I've been trying to change my environment. Honestly, I can't think of a better way to transition from my old content to my new content than this happening. Maybe by me letting go of the TARDIS, it signifies a new era in my life. Something like this doesn't happen every day, but when it does, you need to make sure you take every opportunity that you can to make it into the best situation possible. So let's see how long we can keep this up because I'm really excited to share my life with you, documenting the process of everything that I want to go through. I have so many ideas, and yet all of that can change in an instant. If you guys value what I do, please don't forget to check out my Patreon. I'll try to put more footage into that. I don't know what you guys would like to see. So if there's any suggestions on what you would like as my Patreon tiers, make it within the realm of possibility, please. And as far as this goes, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to hit that bell when you subscribe and follow me on Instagram. I do a lot of live Instagram feeds there. You can check out my story to see what happens in my day so you can get the information in real time and not a week later or whenever this comes out. This is probably gonna come out in like three weeks to a month. Well, no, it's gonna come out soon. Making it happen, we're gonna do the vlog, we're gonna do all of this. So please get ready for the documentation of my life. Thank you all for watching the first episode of The Pursuit of Passion. Let's see where it takes us next. Have a good one. I'll see you then. Bye. Without doing too much cuts and cosmetic stuff, yeah. just pull it back on. Maybe they can line it up. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's like you go to a regular body shop, they can just do you full repair, yeah. Yeah. But you can, maybe you can come around. Okay. Yeah. Okay.